Hey guys, Vendorian29 here, and welcome to the actual first part of Let's Play Resident Evil 4. Alright, let's get things cracking here. I'm just gonna do a normal playthrough. Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4. Uh, I'm just gonna do normal. Um, I'll be quiet here. 1998. Never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise. Bum, bum. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone <clears throat> public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I like this music here. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Corny, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way One of breaking letter. the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. <laughs> Playing this game makes me want to watch uh, Degeneration again. That was a cool movie. Even though it's got, you know, tons of retro camp in it. But, you know, that's kind of a staple of the series, I guess. I'm probably going to go watch it, like, right now. <laughs> right after I'm done recording. Because it's awesome. <laughs> It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the president's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? No smoking for Leon. Out you gum, thank you very much. It's freezing. So cold out Smoking bad, okay. Eh, must be my imagination. Of course. It's a survival horror game. Sorry, you hear something rustling so in the bushes, it's just your imagination, don't worry, it's just the wind. It's not the wind. Loading. Uh. I actually kind of like this whole cutscene thing. It gives me uh, time to formulate my thoughts. <laughs> so I don't, like, do a bunch of ums, uhs, and stuff. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. Yeah, we'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. <laughs> right. Parking tickets. Good luck. <laughs> that line cracks me up every time. Parking tickets. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? <laughs> they wouldn't get parking tickets out there. That's ridiculous. 
Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. Wink. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. <laughs> I love Leon's voice actor. He's, uh... He's hilariously cheesy. Okay. I guess this is as uh, good a time as any to explain, uh... what I'm gonna be doing with this Let's Play. <clears throat> um... Here's all your starting gear and stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Uh, take every opportunity I can to get the maximum amount of money. Uh, and the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm planning on holding a little bit of a contest, just a little bit of a um, a fun little thing to do uh, for the audience. I'm not going to like have any prizes or anything. Um, not that way, cowboy. Right. Um, but I want to go that way. Oh, whatever. Um, I'll explain it a little bit more as I go, but I uh, and I'll explain it a lot more once I see the first merchant. But basically, what I'm going to try to do in a nutshell is uh, I'm going to try to get every single amount of money as possible, just to see if I can uh, upgrade and hold at least at one point every gun in the game. Um, like what I do is I'd upgrade the first pistol all the way, use it a little bit, and then sell it and then use that cash to upgrade other weapons and I'm hoping by the end of the game I can end the game with my usual weapon loadout of the weapons that I personally think are the best weapons in the game I'm not going to be using any secret guns or uh, doing any cheap tactics to get money like uh, selling um, health increasing herbs and stuff like that because I'd like to have full health for both me and Ashley just for my own conscience because this game even on normal can be pretty hard so uh, without any more stalling I'll explain everything a little bit more so later on huh. forget your makeup or something um no <laughs> do you even know who I am I'm Leon I'm the only person on earth who can pull off this haircut so shut your mouth okay so these birds these two will give you money, which I'm going to kill them, but uh, this one over here actually drops a grenade every time, so I'm going to kill him and get the grenade. Actually, no, I'm in a spindle. The other the other pack of birds, the other one gives you a grenade, okay. These birds don't uh, disappear, they actually stay around and fly, so I'm probably going to cut to when I actually kill them. Um, there's a couple of things that you need to make sure uh, about shooting these birds. You want to make sure you shoot them over somewhere where you can walk or else they won't give you the money because they'll land in like a... Um, they'll land in a, a weird spot and you can't get the money. Like, uh, there's an invisible wall here blocking you, but they can fall into that into that little hill right there and then you won't be able to get the money. Um, I wonder what happens if you shoot at these guys. Yeah. Uh, anyway. So I'm probably going to cut to when I actually hit these guys because I'm probably going to miss a lot and I might actually screw up and have one land in the bushes or something and then have to start over, so see ya. And there you go, exactly what I just told you guys not to do. Ah, freaking idiot. Oh, did you see that? Holy crap, I'm gonna show that shit. That was awesome. Okay, now I just have to hit the other one. Poor birds. If only you hadn't eaten 800 pesetas, I wouldn't have to kill you. Hell yeah, there we go. Wasted a few shots, but it's okay. Alright, let's move on. You might be like, 
Oh man. Wasting so much ammo just to get money, man. It's not that much. Well, I have a bad feeling that I'm going to need every single amount of cash that I could get my hands on. Um, walking the trail. Oh. Alright. Um, go over here real quick. Sometimes there's ammo in that. Usually there's nothing in there. I'm gonna break this guy's window. Oh, you can't get in right there? No. Can't get it. You can't get in there until later. Like that. Alright. Let's see. I'm Leon Kennedy. I just burst into people's houses with a gun. Uh, excuse me. Sir? <laughs> I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. What the hell are you doing in my house? Oh well. Sorry to have bothered you. Here, let me show you this axe. I use it to cut the meat. Freeze! I said freeze! <laughs> yeah. I have beat this game probably about nine times, <laughs> so I do know what I'm doing, at least. I don't think I'm like a god at this game, but I do think I know a good bit. Shit. Language, Leon. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Yeah, and they, uh... There's three zombies out there, but... I mean, uh, three ganados out there, but they'll, uh... They'll stay out there. Blah, 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 blah. You can actually see bones in there. There's a lot of stuff you can check out at this beginning area. This music's kind of tense. Yeah. Here's another thing I like about this uh, this place. This is a huge house, and yet there's no door up here leading to any sort of bedroom or anything. So basically, it's just this area and upstairs. So, where's the bed? I guess they don't have to sleep anymore, but eh, whatever. Owned! Holy crap, I've never killed that guy in one shot before. There's another guy out there, but I'll go on ahead and meet him head on. I love that noise he makes when he kicks. It's awesome. And these guys are kind of weak because they're not actually uh, legit ganados yet. Alright. Yeah. I like that. Birds. You better give me that money. Alright. Now we can go this way. There's some more birds out here. Um, there's two right here. One gives you money. This one over here will always give you a grenade. Um, I'm going to kill the one with a grenade because the grenade is going to be really useful later. 
go over here, get his cash. Green herb, handgun, and save so I can kill these two birds and try over and over and over again. It's just, uh, I don't know, save over this one. Alright. Alright, I'm probably just gonna cut to my actual good shot of these guys. Who knows, I might get it on the first try. BAM! First try! Hell yeah! Gimme that, gimme that grenade! It's mine. Alright, cool. Poor dog. I wonder if anybody was actually heartless enough to go through this first part right here and not save that dog. I think everybody did that. Disappear, ghost dog. Alright, now. <laughs> now we got traps. Ah, uh, yep. <laughs> Trying to save uh, ammo as much as possible, because then what I'm going to try to do is going to be kind of tough in a minute. Oh, he didn't drop anything. Douchebag. Okay. Yeah, this next part coming up, uh, when I actually get to the village, I'm going to have to do something kind of difficult, and having as much ammo as possible is key. Oh, I cannot believe I just let myself get hit. Damn. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll just take it. I think I'll be okay. You can actually see there's a hand and some bones and face in the wall and ah. Okay. Uh, better move fast. It's not like she's been here for days or anything. <laughs> I always hated that you couldn't shoot these guys. And that guy runs off like Napoleon Dynamite. If you stop right here... No, a little bit further. Right here. You can see a little surprise waiting for you. Holy crap, did I just kill him in one shot? I did. Awesome. <laughs> this one sometimes has a snake in it? No. I hate that. I hate it when the damn snake's in the box. I always miss that and then it, like, uh, kills me. <laughs> I mean, not kills me, uh, hits me. Alright. Time to go into the village.